hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this amazing exponential math problem which is 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 minus 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 3. Now how can we solve math problem like this having one base and more than one powers so if we have a problem like this having number in this form so here we will use some specific exponential rules no we will solve math problem math number like this in this way when we have a number in this form raised to power b raised to power c raised to power d and so on so here are some specific rules to solve the powers so according to this rule here we will solve the powers from top to bottom now here first we will solve the power c raised to power d which will give him one number then we will solve b raised to power that number and in this way we will go down so according to this rule this property here we will solve these powers first we will solve 2 raised to power 2 and here we will solve 2 raised to power 3 now what is the value of 2 raised to power 2 so here 2 raised to power 2 means we need to multiply 2 2 times so 2 times 2 is 4 so the value of 2 raised to power 2 is 4 and what is the value of 2 raised to power 3 so 2 raised to power 3 means we need to multiply 2 3 times so 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8 so the value of 2 raised to power 3 is 8 now here we will replace 2 raised to power 2 with 4 and 2 raised to power 3 with 8 so this equation will become implies 2 raised to power 2 raised to the power 4 minus this will become 3 raised to power 8 now in next week we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 4 that what is the value of 2 raised to power 4 so 2 raised to power 4 means we need to multiply 2 4 times so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so the value of 2 raised to power 4 is 16 so here we will replace this power with 16 so this will become implies this will become 2 raised to power 16 minus 3 raised to power 8 then next we can write this power 16 is 2 raised to power 16 can be written as 6 plus 10 minus 3 raised to power 8 then in this one number 2 raised to power 6 plus 10 we will use an exponential math property exponential identity so here we will use this one exponential identity we can write r s to power m plus n as l s to power m times l s to power n now using this exponential identity here this term will become this implies it will become 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 10 minus 3 raised to power a now what we will do here here we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 6 2 raised to power 10 and 3 raised to power 8 so here first we will find the value of 2 raised to power 6 so therefore we can write 2 raised to power 6 as 2 raised to power 6 means we need to multiply 2 6 times so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 times 2 is 32 and 32 times 2 is 64 so the value of 2 raised to power 6 is 64 next we will find out the value of the 2 raised to power 10 so we can write this 2 raised to power 10 as product of 2 10 times 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 times 2 is 32 32 times 2 is 64 64 times 2 is 128 128 times 2 is 256 256 times 2 is 512 512 times 2 is 1024 so here the value of 2 to power 10 is 1024 next we will try to find out the value of 3 to power 8 so therefore we can write 3 to power 8 is here we can multiply 3 8 times but it will be a very longer number and very longer process so for that we will change this number to a simplified number so here we can write the 3 to power 8 as it is same as 4 plus 4 now here we will use this one exponential math property and this will become 3 to power 4 times 
3 to power 4. And here we can easily find out the value of 3 to power 4. 3 to power 4 means we need to multiply 3 4 times. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And 27 times 3 is 81. So the value of 3 to power 4 is 81. So here we will replace 3 to power 4 with 81. So this will become 81 times 81. Thus we can write the next 81 as the sum of 80 plus 1. Here we can easily multiply 81 with these two numbers. So let's multiply these two numbers. So this will become 81 times 0 is 0 and 81 times 8 is 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. So this gives him 6480 plus 81 times 1 is 81. So this will become 81. Now we'll add these two numbers. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 8 plus 8 is 16. 6 1 will be carried to this number. 4 plus 1 is 5 and 6. So this gives him 6561. So here the value of 3 to power 8 is 6561. Now here we will replace these three numbers 2 to power 6, 2 to power 10 and 3 to power 8 with their values. So this equation will become implies the value of 2 to power 6 is 64 times the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 minus now the value of 3 raised to power 8 is 6561. Now here we have to multiply these two numbers and then in last we will subtract this number from that answer. So here we will try to multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and rough work standard multiplication. So how can you multiply these two numbers without using a calculator? So here we can multiply them very easily. This is 64 times and here we can write this number as the sum of 1000 plus 20 plus 4 minus this one number 6561. Now here you will multiply this 64 with these three numbers. So first we will multiply it with 1000. So it is very simple here. 64 times 0 is 0, 64 times 0 is 0, 64 times 0 is 0, and 64 times 1 is 64. This, so this is 64,000 plus, no, we will multiply 64 with 20. So 64 times 0 is 0, and 64 times 2 is 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 6 is 12. So this will become 1280 plus, we will multiply 64 with 4. So 4 times 4 is 16, 6 1 will be carried, 4 times 6 is 24, 24 plus 1 is 25. So this will give him 256 minus this one number, 6, 5, 6, 1. Now here we will add these three numbers. So to add these three numbers, we will start from the ones position. 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 8 is 13, 13 plus 0 is 13, so 3 1 will be carried to this number, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 0 is 5, no, 1 plus 4 is 5, and this one 6, so this gives him, the addition of this number gives him 65,536, minus this one number, 6, 5, 6, 1, so here we have to subtract this number from this result. So again, this is very simple. We'll start from the ones position. So 6 plus 1 is 5. No, 3 minus 6 is not possible because 3 is smaller. So what we'll, what we'll do here? Here we will give 1, 10, 2, 3 from 5. So this will remain 4 and this will become 13 because 10 plus 3 is 13. Now 13 minus 6 is about 7. Now here 4 minus 5 is not possible. So what we'll do here? We will give 1, 10 from this 5 to 4. So this will become, become 14 and this will remain 4. Now again, 14 minus 5 is 9. So this is 9. No, 4 minus 6 is again not possible. So we will give 1, 10 from 6 to 4. So this will become 14 and this will 5. No, 14 minus 6 is 8. So this will become 8 and this will become 5. So here it will give him 58,000. 975. So finally, 58,975 is our answer and value of this 
amazing exponential math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching